Hi everyone, Wendy from First Up here. I have another fabulous story to share with you. This one, in honor of International Women's Day that just passed yesterday and Women's History Month. This is written by Mina Harris, illustrated by Ana Ramirez Gonzalez, and it's entitled Kamala and Maya's Big Idea. Hmm. Look at the front cover. It looks like these girls are about to do something. Let's find out. Kamala and Maya's big idea. Hmm. Sitting outside looking out the window. You know what should be out there? Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us? said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. A playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea. And a very big idea. They were going to need help. Hmm, I wonder how they're gonna get some help. Wouldn't it be great if there was a playground in our courtyard? Maya said. Hmm, that does sound nice, Mommy agreed. How can we make that happen, Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord. That's the person who owns the building. So Kamala wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture and they went to see the landlord to discuss their idea. Oh, teamwork. The landlord thought about it for less than a second. Hmm, I don't think so, no. That was not the answer they wanted. And they weren't ready to give up. That night, the sisters tried to think of ways to turn a no into a yes. Hmm. I wonder what they're going to do. They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did. Look, they went around and asked all the other children. Of course, yes, they want a playground too. Hmm. Let's have a teeter-totter and a basketball hoop and flowers. So Kamala wrote a longer letter and they went to see the landlord together. Wow, here's a longer letter that they wrote. Let's see what this one says. Dear landlord, right now the courtyard at our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, Kids could go so far, so fast. Can you build it, please? And they even drew some pictures again. The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. A project this big is expensive. We don't have money for that. Do your parents know you're here? Hmm. This was not the answer they wanted, but Kamala was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it all ourselves, can we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about that for a whole 10 seconds. Finally, he shrugged. Hmm, if you can do it yourselves, sure. That wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents and they, they talked about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbors' doors, but they got the same answers from everyone. Mm, I'm sorry. Well, that sounds like a big job. Wish I could help. <sighs> Which they knew meant no, no, no. But then Mr. Green stopped to talk. This must be Mr. Green. I work in construction and I could maybe get some scrap lumber 
and some sand for a sandbox. Really, Kamala said? Yes, exclaimed Maya. Yes. Okay, I'll try. Hmm, well, it wasn't a yes, but right now maybe was the sweetest word they had ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. And the next weekend, maybe turned into a yes. Look at this. The kids all helped measure and Mr. Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. Then came the actual sand. Look at that, there's the sandbox. They were all thanking Mr. Green when Ms. Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. This must be Ms. Lopez. I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tire for a teeter-totter. Okay, another maybe. In the weeks that followed, lots of I don't knows turned into maybes and then yeses. Wow, look at that. Everyone's working together. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Kamala and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground, so they made another big poster inviting their neighbors to a potluck party. There's Kamala hanging the poster and everyone's chipping in and helping. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad. Mmm. Strawberries and brownies and lemonade. Mrs. Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through. Wow, that looks like fun. Here's a sprinkler. You can see the water in the middle of the book. Awesome. And Mr. Green brought the music. Kamala admired the new playground. But she noticed there was still one thing missing. Hmm. What's missing? No one knew how to make a slide. But Ms. Flores knew where they might, might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary. And they are redoing their playground. Maybe we could buy the old slide. Hmm, that was a different kind of maybe. Hmm, it was a how can we afford that maybe. Hmm, but now everyone was trying to find a way to turn that maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale. We can all bring toys and books and have a sidewalk sale. A lot of great ideas. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Yet, everyone could contribute something. And they got together all of their things that maybe they didn't need anymore, and someone else maybe did need them. And they made some money. When the slide arrived, at last, Maya and Kamala got the first ride. The landlord was impressed. I want to shake your hands, girls. Hmm. He said, you did a good job. You all did a good job. Yay! Look, friends are cheering for each other. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Hooray for Kamala and Maya. Hooray for the Purr Sisters. Yes, they were very persistent. <laughs> the Purr Sisters. What's next, Kamala? Kamala, looking up, said, Hmm, I'm wondering what the view is like from the roof. There she is, looking up, still dreaming on. And here's some pictures of Kamala and her family. Kamala Harris, we know, is now the Vice President of the United States of America. So she did have a lot of great big ideas. Here she is with her sister, Maya, and I think the author, Mina, their niece. Thanks for reading with me today, everyone. Take care.